it's useful. Hello everyone, Dan the 14th Prime here. Today I want to check out with you guys the Play Arts Kai action figure number one Batman. This is the tactical suit version as it says there. Justice League figure coming out later this month. Big, big movie and Batman always incredibly popular. So we start here with a very nice pack box as always. Justice League on the side, this kind of smoke effect going around. Product shots back here. All look pretty cool. More of that Justice League, whatever this is in the background, explosion. Same thing on top. And you open up the little door. There's your guy. He looks really, really cool in there. We'll get him out. Looks really cool. Justice League. Nice pose over here on the side. Bunch of stuff here if you wanted to pause and read. Okay, so that's the packaging. Let's pop this guy out of the box and check him out. Okay, so here's the Batman out of the box. And yeah, I do like this figure. I think is really, really sharp. I think Pack does a nice job with the movie series type Batman figures. I like the BVS one myself as well. And this one is as cool, probably even better. Because I think kind of the overall paint detailing is better. And I don't see any of the weird accent paints like they did with BVS where they tried to put the dirt on them, which some people hated and didn't look too good. So yeah, definitely think this one is a winner. Let's dive in and check them out. Okay, so we're checking out the wide angle, just getting the figure, kind of taking it all in. I do like the build of this tactical suit Batman. He's a little leaner, a little meaner. BVS, he was like so bulky. So he's definitely got some taper, a thinner waist. You can see overall the way they're doing this is he's got kind of what you expect to see for the normal bat suit underneath and of course kind of armor strapped on there strapped across the the abs the chest and everything so it looks really cool and the armor's got a texture on it we'll see those details up close otherwise you get you know the iconic bat belt of course bat on the chest the cowl he's got the tactical glasses on from the movie so all of that is very recognizable and there's just so much detail we'll have to go in and, and check out i think the head is really good as well profile here again just that nice leaner build i think does look good got the big cape it's kind of in the usual two-piece sort of butterfly joint articulatable i'll show you that later that looks pretty standard they kind of wash it on around, around the bottom here a little bit of dirt type color looks just sort of like a white or a gray they've blended down to the bottom other profile basically the same and uh, that's kind of the overview, so let's definitely jump in and check out the detail. Okay, let's start upstairs with this head sculpt, which I think is really good. And I can actually see Ben Affleck through there in that uh, face and mouth area. It looks really good. You know, the skin tone looks good. The lips are a different shade. He's got like the five o'clock shadow going on through there. So I think that face part is very well done. Of course, he's got the uh, tactical cowl on, these goggles look to be just kind of molded on there, but they do kind of look like they're sitting on top. Get a nice ridge and everything. So it looks like they could, uh, you know, would almost be separate, but they're just sort of molded out there on top. Looks very good. Spin around the back of the cowl. It's a lot of nice uh, lines and detail in the cowl as well. Very nice head sculpt. I think it looks great. I think it's very well in proportion and even really good Affleck likeness there, which is a pleasant surprise. Then if we just check out this upper body, you start to see the color schemes, right? You get really kind of black for the cowl and the cape. Uh, then you come to the armor and you get like the dark gray that is the suit underneath. And then this armor is uh, really hard to describe what color that is. You know, it looks more like a lighter metal color, but not quite gray. It almost seems to have like a little bit of a gold hue through it. So it does look really cool. The, uh, the bat there is very large and pronounced. You get gold trim up here where the cape would come in, gold trim underneath there. It's like buckles, these buckle things. All looks really good. Check out that ab section, very complex, very well done. The belt looks great. The forms here, you get like straps. And then he's got the... Uh, the blades on the side, very well done as well. So yeah, I think uh, just a lot of great detail. And again, texture in the armor, texture in the suit. We jump downstairs here, and there you can see the, the suit 
and kind of the texture in there very well in sort of that crotch area. Again, all those nice gold bucklings, the armor. See how well that's kind of weathered. That looks really good. The feet, you still get like the gold toes, right? So it's kind of, you know, the BVS thing underneath the armor on top and then tacticaled out. So it does look good. A lot of great just little details like this armor has little rivets there on the ab section. It's got a little rivet up here on the chest. So nice little detail that we've seen them putting into these figures. Give you the profile here. Again, the profile of the head looks great. That nice lean build. You get some of the flavor there of the suit and everything, just how the armor is laying across. Better shot there of the uh, gauntlets, the wings on there. And then the hands as well, again, with that gold trim across the knuckles. And then jumping down, it's got the arm out of the way. You can see how that whole ab section just kind of wraps through. It's just so much intricate detail, all the straps, the buckles, the little armor pieces they've put through there. Looks really great. And then just give you a shot of the side of the leg here. Then the back of the figure here, just so you know, of course, you can see the cowl there. And then the cape, you basically have, uh, you know, a rubber piece here that just covers the butterfly joint where you have your two cape pieces, um, which are articulated beneath. So in terms of extras, you get an extra pair of hands here. Again, really sharp, black gloves, the gold knuckles, um, just kind of slightly more open type of gesture. Of course, he's got the closed fist on at the moment. So I get a pair of these, and you basically get two accessory hands. So you get this hand here. It's a right hand only. Got the little pinch grip. And, of course, that will be to hold the battering, just like that. And the battering is pretty standard. It reminds me of about any battering you see on this type of size figure. Then you get this uh, pointing hand, which is actually a trigger hand. So this is for the grappling gun. Again, nicely done. Here is the grappling gun, a very nice accessory. Get the brown handle, some lighter silver and some gunmetal kind of color up top. And of course the iconic look, very recognizable. And he comes with uh, you know, what would be the hook piece. It's actually got a nice little mushroom piece on the end. So I think it's going to stick in there a lot better for us than we've seen on some figures like Hot Toys where it always falls out. And then again, if you had the uh, gun hand here. Okay, there that is. So that was the goodies with the figure. It's not a lot, but it's really everything you need, you know, to have the grapple gun, to have the batter ring, a few extra hands. You can't really complain. So in terms of articulation with the figure, it's your typical good packness, right? Get a lower neck joint piece here, and then this top head point is on a little ball joint as well. So that'll kind of swivel on top. It does the same underneath. So plenty of good neck articulation. You can get it look up as well. So if you want them crouching and stuff, you can you can get that going. Shoulders are, have been tight, but um, you can get them up there. There we go. Breaking that in. So those raise up pretty well. It goes under the... Uh, the cape. He's got the usual shoulder mechanism where he can get some down and up for extra articulation. The shoulder will spin around pretty well with the help of that. And again, you can bend that in the joint inside of that armpit. Okay, you get probably what is the tightest bicep swivel up here of all times. My bicep might have been cocky for most of this review. I just noticed it was really sort of in an odd spot. You get some movement up there. It's very, very tight. At the elbow, it's easier. We get the two pegs to come in, so it'll swivel. You get the ratchet. And same thing on the wrist. You get the little kind of peg with the uh, on both sides to spin it. And then it's got the little pivot point. Torso here, he's got the upper kind of ab joint. You know, crunch there, crunch back. It's not a lot. Um, so to go too far back, you get... That's not bad. Small, small gap, but actually, that's not too bad. So it's not a ton of crunch there in the in the uh, torso. It'll spin up there as well, and then you have the waist down here as well that will spin, and you get actually more bend there. So you kind of put the two together to get your bend over effect. 
or your bend up effect. Belt does a nice job. Seems like it just kind of floats around there so it doesn't get in the way. Legs. I'm going to do the splits for you. Nice ratchet there. It's got the thigh swivel. Knee here. Is very good as always. And as always, you know, it's going to open up when you go to the extreme. Some of the top and bottom gappage. That's just always universally the case. And we did the thigh swivel. And then the ankles, kind of just like the wrist, right? You got the double peg side, and you get a ratchet piece, so you just sort of spin it where you want. And he's got a toe there. Another tight joint, but toe articulations. That is, you know, it's all everything you'd expect on a pack figure. And again, with the big uh, cape effect, like I mentioned, some joints under here, which are kind of like the uh, wrist or ankle joints, right? It's like peg-peg, so it'll spin. And it's got the one um, ratchet point, right? You can do that, or you can shoot them out to the side. The cape is posable like that. And as always, he comes with the big stand uh, to help with this really dynamic articulation and posing that they can do. Okay, let's pose this guy up a bit. Every superhero needs to know what time it is. So there you have it guys, Square Enix, Player It's Kai, Batman, tactical suit version from the Justice League. Very, very cool figure. Like I said, I think pac has been killing it lately with the uh, Marvel Universe characters. I do like the Batman characters uh, that they do for the movies as well. So this is a great figure. Amazing detail, great posability, a lot of fun. In terms of accessories for a Batman at this price point, you know, maybe you don't get a ton, but I think you get what you need as well. So pretty happy with the pickup. Check the links in the description below if you're interested in picking this guy up. And as always, if the videos are ever helpful to you at all, easiest thing you can do to say thanks is just hop through those links and do your Christmas shopping. So thanks for checking in. See you next time.